Hey everyone, today we're diving into a rather unsettling piece of mail that's been circulating in Texas. Have you ever gotten a flyer that made you feel, well, watched? Imagine opening your mailbox to find a flyer with the words, please don't make us report you. Sounds like something out of a thriller movie, right? Now this isn't just any flyer, it's been sent to numerous voters across Texas and carries a rather ominous message. We see you haven't voted yet, followed by, we will contact you after the election to make sure you voted. That's not just creepy, it's raising big red flags about voter intimidation. But what exactly is voter intimidation? By definition, it's any effort to coerce or influence a voter into voting a certain way, or not voting at all, through the use of threats or coercion. This tactic isn't just unethical, it's illegal. Yet here we are, looking at a flyer that seems to skate dangerously close to that line. Now let's think about this. The intention behind such messages could be to boost voter turnout, but the execution, it's fear-mongering, and fear should never be a part of the voting process. To add some perspective, let's contrast this with a historical note. There are tales from places where voter coercion was a terrifying reality. For instance, in Iraq under Saddam Hussein, elections were a farce where not voting correctly could lead to severe consequences. While we're not comparing the two directly, it does make you wonder about the shades of coercion and how they manifest differently across times and regimes. So what can you do if you receive such a flyer? First, know your rights. Intimidation at the polls or through communications like these is not just frowned upon, it's against the law. You can report such incidents to local authorities or election officials. And let's not forget the power of raising awareness. By talking about it, sharing your experiences, and staying informed, we contribute to a culture that values democratic processes and fights against the forces that try to undermine them. So what do you think? Is this a misguided attempt at encouraging civic duty or something more sinister? Have you or someone you know received similar messages? Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Remember, your voice matters, both at the polls and beyond. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to stay alert and informed. Until next time.